absolutely unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I've been living here for eight years now. Good afternoon, and we come on the air this Friday afternoon. It is 2.42 here in the east, which makes it 10.42 in the morning in Anchorage, Alaska, and there is breaking news coming in that we're monitoring. A pair of back-to-back -back earthquakes, the first one measuring 7.0 right outside of Anchorage. People racing into the streets. There's already reports of significant damage inside buildings. Some of the pictures emerging that appears to be a, a newsroom right there that we're looking at. Uh, people heading out into the streets, uh, but then going back inside when yet another earthquake strike uh, struck. 5.8 was uh, the size and scope of that earthquake. Yes, the ground was rolling for an extended period of time. I wasn't exactly sure what to do or where to go. I'd never been prepared for anything like this. My wife and I stood outside and basically held on to the outside of our house. You couldn't even stand up. I mean, literally at the peak of these uh, waves that were washing over the ground, you literally could not stay on your feet. You had to kind of crouch down in a ball or put your back against something so you didn't fall. And that's exactly what we did for the length of the duration of it, which I would say was about probably a minute to two But it's really as the isobars squeeze together here across the north and then the east of Scotland, down into northeast England, that we're going to see potentially damaging gusts of wind and dangerous conditions with very large waves.